Hey you guys, welcome back to Southern Latitudes. We're back in the Salsa Garden and we're gonna finally complete this garden for its fall planting. And it has been a struggle, sometimes with just, uh, you know, distractions, but the weather last week was really crazy, wasn't it? And we had the tornado watch and the terrible storms and the five inches of rain in two hours. And it was just wild and crazy, but I was able to go ahead and complete this little strip right here that was remaining. It needed some compost in it. And it, it ended up, I was guessing five, but it took seven to get all the way down here. So last night, Jack was smoking this really nice pork uh, shoulder, I think it was. And um, since we had time in between things, and it was the weather, the temps had been coming down all day yesterday. And it was just beautiful sitting out weather and smelling the smoke. And I was like, my head's turning, you know, my br little brain. And I'm like, hmm, okay, I got that fresh compost out there. And so anyhow, uh, I drove some tea post in the ground and he helped me get the 16 foot cattle panel uh, hung. And so I am ready to go to put some Alaska peas, ignore the word snow. I keep saying snow, it's not. They're English sweet peas. And we're gonna just put them in at the bottom. I do have to repair this one little line. I went to go do it last night and uh, underneath this four by four was a nest of carpenter ants. And so anyhow, I just had to wait for them to clear. They're clear now. And then we can go ahead and get this line in. And then I can finish out my cabbage and uh, another roll of, well, maybe cauliflower here and then another cabbage row right here. I think that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do stone head cabbage for right there. That, I did that last year and it was a really good variety. I really did like this. It really won't take very long to do any of this. And, uh, and then I can finish weeding it out up here uh, by the peppers. And then this garden will be totally ready to go for all of fall. And uh, the one thing I do want to do is I will probably put a little border up here. Just uh, I'll just see what I have left over in the old shed and see if we can't just make something where Buddy just won't be cutting through it all the time. And, um, and then I'll have this little open spot and I'm just trying to think of what I might put in there or I might not because the wheelbarrow can go in and out, but, or I would go in and out there. Let's just say I will go in and out there. So we might leave this section uh, of the drip line just open. Yeah, I think that'd be best. Yeah, so I'm very, very excited to get a second garden done. Mm -hmm.
Okay, you guys, um, so I finished uh, Sasa. We'll go back there in just a minute. But I happened to notice that I lost another one of my artichokes. So I, I have like one or two seeds left. I'm going to see if we can't get this going one last time. Uh, the rest of them look pretty good. You know, this one and these three, no, four. There's a fourth one right there in the sun. So uh, I think I lost this one early on in the transplant. And then this one is just dying right now. I'm so sad. And it, it, it could be that it comes back, but it got waterlogged with that five inches of rain. So I thought what I would do is open up this little packet. Open up this little packet. We're gonna make the most of what we See if we can't oh i got four seeds left okay so i'm going to take two of them and put two right here we'll see if either one of those works and then i'll take the other two and put them down here let's see i guess right about here is where my my every other my water emitters are on 12 inches uh, spacing and so yeah let's try to see if we can't get that to germinate right now it supposedly likes to germinate at 70 to 80 degrees which will be colder than that but at some point that thing maybe even a daytime temp will be hitting back up there and we'll get them back under germination uh, optimum temperatures and then that would be good so um, there is plenty of nasturtiums that'll be something i do off camera but i gotta pull all these baby nasturtiums there's this whole section is nasturtiums they have to go <laughs> they're really in the middle of all of these oh there's actually tons maybe i'll just get a whole bunch of cups put them in a tray come out here and start pulling nasturtiums they uh i totally love them but um they're taking over my new medicinal area and lettuce we got some lettuce going on let's go back to salt so real quick all right i feel good i completed a project i haven't even hardly sweat at all <laughs> uh, and salsa garden is 100 percent planted for the fall well no 97 <laughs> percent because i have this little gap waiting here for my celery but other than that everything's in i'm so so excited i i sometimes use the word tickled too much i i really get tickled by little things like this it's it's very exciting so okay let me um let me go through it the alaska peas are all here we planted them very very tightly because they like that this first gap right here is waiting for celery tango celery preferred Back here, I have stonehead cauliflower, uh, uh, stonehead cabbage, pardon me. Uh, Twister cabbage is up there, the first sowing. Then the second sowing is all in. By the way, that's all in by seed. This is Monday the 16th, I believe. And then I have dead on cabbage in here already from our first sowing. And then I went and bought some collards because I didn't start my collards on time. And I almost didn't do collards. And then I, I'm like, I don't know, those little cheap packs at my uh, hardware store. I was like, okay, let's throw in. They had my favorite Georgia collards are in there. And then we have um, Jade Cross Brussels, which I said I wasn't going to do. But since they're predicting an extra cold, an extra wet winter, I thought, let's try it. My fifth time is the charm. Then down here, we have an entire row of Godzilla broccoli. And it's looking really good. It's taken off very well from its transplant. And look, I cleaned up my row just for you guys. And then down here, um, through the summer, we've already had um, the, the uh, 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 jalapenos, regular jalapenos. They don't look so good. They got like that sooty mold on them. And, you know... I'm leaving them in, but I don't think they're that good. This one's definitely dead. Ooh, one of, yeah, it's crunchy. Um, we have purple shine e eggplant. Let me try to get out of the way there. 
we i um whatever those are i don't know if they're assassin bugs or what their name is but i disturbed them when i weeded in here i'll look that up see if i can't find it out and put them up there but i did definitely disturb them uh so okay two aswad eggplants then we have two of the melanzane eggplants then we have two of the antigua which are the little purple and white striped eggplants and then we have a nice big blank spot right this very minute because that's where the okra was and i just pulled it out let me walk on this side we have a mixture of okay well let's start here greek pepperoncinis banana pepper i think we lost most of banana peppers that might be another one then we have the california wonder peppers right here perhaps in here some of these are carryover from summer and then some of them were just added and quite honest with you uh, there's no tag for some of them all the cubanelles are down in here i know that much eh, and probably those are cubanelles back in the back row i have red marconis now i'm really hoping those take off really well because that is one of my favorites and they're also back back here a little bit right in there and then this is a brand new tabasco i guess it's seeded off of the mother plant so this is whatever's going to hold over till next year um i could probably even pull this one out but it may produce more um don't know what this is this is a carryover from last year that didn't do well but is now enjoying the fall so i left it and then down this whole little section if you can see it did they don't like this cool snap this morning but this is portulaca or better known as moss roses and they come in all sorts of beautiful colors look at that and i try to clean them up quite a bit um yeah and they do they do bloom they've been blooming but they're not happy today so it wasn't the best day to show them to you guys but but they're really cool and easy and i hope that they can just stay right here and reseed themselves year after year that would just make me a very happy person i almost forgot to show you guys that this is my devonshire cordon apple tree um that's on the main stock here and it just put out blooms i have tried hand pollinating we'll see if that takes and then looks like tomorrow we're gonna have some bite me apple blooms they're a little bit pinker right at this moment and uh really excited about that now up here's burgundy we might get burgundy in a week or two that's another apple and then we also had bite me apple a couple uh last week sometime i guess now i see yellowing at the base do you see that yellowing at the base so i don't think those tick and really it's okay it's quite okay i don't know how good winter apples are i'm sure they would be delicious tasting but you know if we get a frost that's not going to be a pretty oh look at this here's another one that's going to be more bite me so the bite me really likes a nice fall bloom but um probably not going to work too well <laughs> you know because we do eventually get cold and we're expected to have a colder than normal winter i know i feel amazing getting this knocked off my to-do list yeah it's fantastic getting it there and knowing that we're done i still am going to put the front on at some point i'm going to test this water drip line first before i do that well you guys thank you for joining me today i'm doing the salsa garden uh fall garden set it's like i said almost done and it will be done very soon once the celery comes in at the store i only got one celery out of two times trying to grow it in some years it's just the most difficult little plant to grow uh celery germination is tough and getting up even up to like two inches it's very difficult so i'm not going to beat myself up over it we'll just run right down to the store and i'll pick them up when they come in <laughs> and they'll be a foot high and some professional will have earned their three dollars <laughs> so anyhow y'all i'm so glad you joined me today I really thank each and every single one of you 
for joining the channel. I, if you saw it in my community page, then you know that um, they, YouTube, the powers that be, have decided that I can start monetizing, and I filled out all that paperwork. And of course, I can make memberships. I'm not really sure what to do there for membership. I give you guys all that I got, anyhow. So. Um, Anyhow, thank you for making that possible. I'm really thankful to you guys for all the watches, comments, thumbs up. Some of you have become friends. Some of you have come visited here and gotten something, you know, that I had excess of or um, made babies of. And then in return, you have brought me, you know, cactus, banana trees, whatever, peppers, eggplants too. So you guys have been fantastic. I've really enjoyed growing this fellowship and uh, you guys are the best. And so with that, on that note, take care, God bless, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.